Right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Jawbreaker Podcast, co-hosted with my nephew Martin. I want to uh, reflect on last night's uh, fight with Joe Joyce and Zhang. Good fight. I, I hate to say it, but, but I already did predict it. That Zhang would win. Uh, I could, don't see why people were so hyped up with Joyce to win the rematch when he didn't really do anything in the first fight. So I don't see how people expected him to win the rematch just because he put a bit of weight on. He didn't have the tools for Zhang. What do you reckon? I think you're 100% right. Like, he just, every time he got caught with that straight left, he, he, he couldn't set back away. Well, he, he was straight before. away. He went back. Yeah, he went right back. His eyes started to up again. And then Zhang just timed him. It was a straight and a, left, and a right hook and just ended it. A good shot. It was a really good shot. It was a hell of a good punch. Right in the chin, flat in his face. You can hear it, man. It was a good punch. It was a really good punch. I just knew it was coming. But I feel sorry for Joe. Yeah. He, he is he, a really he, nice man. He is a nice man. He um, seems like a really, really nice fighter, yes. And by the looks, but he did actually try. Like, he, like he changed up his style. But he just, he just yeah, reverted he back with his hand different, but he went straight back into it the minute. Yeah. And it just wasn't good enough for world level, but it's not good enough for that. No. <coughs> What's your opinion on uh, Zhang calling out Fury then? I reckon it'd be a good fight. I reckon, I reckon Tyson Fury will beat him. Yeah, obviously. But, but I don't think it'll be a walk in the park. No. I definitely don't. It, uh, he's a big, big, strong man, isn't he? Yeah. Good south ball. Slick. He's no, no fool. No, he's not, yeah. Zhang can box. I reckon it'd be a good fight. Um, Today, I want it to be more of an interview on you than about, about me. About you than, say, other boxers. What was it like growing up back back in the. When, we, when I grew up back in the 90s. On the 90s then? Uh, I thought it was a good life. Different life completely was growing up when we were children. There was none of this snowflake generation. It was just a different life. We, 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 now we've got to get the children to go outside. They couldn't get us to come inside when we were children. You literally would get stay out all night if you could. There was no such thing as going home. Yeah. Yeah, cut your knee, cut your leg, cut your ankle, get just out. Got to get, get an old dark leaf or something and, and rub yourself in your stomach or something. Yeah. There's no such thing as that. And growing up in a tough family, like I grew up, yeah. was very hard. Because you can't be weak when you grow up to be so tough all the time. Because yeah. I got, all my uncles could fight, all my brothers, even to my sisters could fight. Yeah. And when you, when, you, when you raise up to be so tough all the time, you can't show weakness. And when you try and show a bit of weakness, you feel, because everyone goes through it sometimes. Uh, people just to judge you straight away for it. You mean, ah, it's nothing wrong with you, but you can't show it. You've got to yeah, be a man so all the be... time. So it's not really easy and that kind of thing yeah. to grow up with it. What was it like growing up like as an amateur boxer? Like back in... Oh, brilliant. Brilliant it was back there. Yeah. Well, I had uh, 34 fights. I lost four. Great record. I think I stopped 17 of them. Yeah, but nice. It was, I, used to, I was very heavy as a child. I was yeah. 82 kilos, a 13-year-old. Yeah, I see, I see, I see. So I had to fight big boys. Fights, so they were yeah. strong big boys, they were. Yeah. And it, it was brilliant, it was a brilliant time. I'd love to do it again, but it's, it's time moves on. You're yeah. on a fight one, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be fighting now with Michael in the November the 9th. Um, my coach Enzo. Um, Enzo who? Enzo McAnally, Big Mac. Fair play boy, well done. Um, just hopefully Enzo Michael can get fit and get ready for it. Mm. And uh, I also would like to say, what's your opinions on um, uh, well, your nephew and my cousin Willie? He's fighting My nephew Willie, guys don't forget, my nephew Willie is fighting on the 14th of October. In Swansea, tickets. what's the name of that place, Swansea? Um, the, the hall, is it? I can't remember the name of the hall, but um, if you check on my Facebook, you'll see it on uh, the 14th of next month. He's making his professional debut. He is Wales' best kept secret. Look forward to us tackling a knockout. You hear it there first from the jawbreaker. Yeah, and, um, and there's also another girl from Endo's gym as well called Ashley. She's fighting on the same day. She's making her She's strong a strong looking girl as well. She's strong. She's a good boxer. She's very fit. Yeah. Well, up and down KB Hill, she's sprinting it. And honestly, I don't know. I'm well, I don't know if it's true, but I heard a bit of a whisper going on. My nephew Thomas might be turning pro. And that he should be very exciting to watch yeah. as a pro. The tank. Because he is coming. really good. He, yeah. So he will Thomas be good. But my nephew bad. Willie has put a lot of work into it. Yeah, he's, he's lost. lost a lot I think of he's weight. lost like 32 kilos or something. Isn't yeah, he? something like that. Yeah. And he's training three times a day. He's done very well. Yeah, he's done very home. well. So, uh, what do you reckon, boy? It's not too bad, Michael. And um, what was your favorite fight, like when you was young? What me fighting myself? You fighting? What was, no, let me. What was your favorite stoppage when you was young? Stoppage as a a fight. I fought a boy in my stake. Big boy, big, way bigger than me he was, but he couldn't box as good as me. Yeah. But he was a really big, heavy boy. And I stopped him in 33 seconds in the first round. Nice. And I tell the truth, before I went into the ring, I had butterflies, like I don't know what. Yeah. Because I thought the size of him, I thought there's no way I could beat him. When I got him in the ring, I, I think I hit him 
I can't remember if I caught him. I checked left hook on a straight right hand, yeah. and he was gone. The referee waved him shut off. No, but that was yeah. a. I was. I can remember that one. It was just a yeah. really good knockout. That was. What was your favourite outside knockout? Then? Oh, I've knocked some people. Out. Yeah. I have knocked a lot of people. Out. I'd say. Um, there's one fella I fought in the, in the clinic. I fought him in a parking clinic when I was about 19 year old. He was a man about 32, 33 at the time. But he wouldn't stop. He was a bit of a bully fella around the place. He wasn't a boxer, he was like a rugby player man. Yeah. A strong big man though he was. And he wouldn't stop. So I, I when I, I rung him up as a medicine, we keep going, I said you have to fight. Wouldn't stop, so I said, right, get yourself down. He thought he could beat me because I was only a little boy. Yeah. But I was a strong 19 year old boy. Yeah. Took him out, fought for about 20, 22 minutes. It wasn't long, about 20, 20 odd minutes. And when he came in, I caught him with like a, it was like a, a, like a, a, a overhand right into overhand the temple right. leg, and his knee cap went. Oh. His knee went, fell on the floor. When he got up, I caught him with a check, left hook, and a straight right hand, and he was literally like a fish. Just flipped off upside down, I had That was the end of his yeah. body. And there's one thing I hate was, is a bully. No. Give me anything but a bully, I can't stand a bully. They're not, they're not but I ended, I ended his bullying for him. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, good times. Very good times. How was, uh, how was like your brothers growing up? How were they? like? Well, my brother Jimmy, well everyone knows my brother Jimmy, he's yeah, a leg hell of a fighter. Big strong fighting man. 6'3", 20 stone man. Demolishes everybody when he fights him. He's a very strong big man. Um, he, he was very hard growing up with him. Because I had a spar him all the time, man. He used to beat us up. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he, yeah, he was, it was very hard growing up with him. My brother Bucky got immersed and he passed away. He was a really, really good boxer. Very yeah. good. I'd, I'd imagine he was the best boxer of all of us. Right? Proper lovely and boxer. He was very strong as well. Very sharp. He? he was another hard fellow to spar. Yeah. My brother Willie was very strong. But he, he liked party life. And my brother Peter, do your parties. Yeah. My brother Martin was a strong man. Real, very powerful. Yeah. You had to stay back from Martin because if he hit you... <laughs> You know you got hit. Yeah. Very powerful. But and daddy, daddy the same. Yeah, I was about to ask you, what was your favourite fight? Like watching Grandad fight? Daddy, oh come on. There was one in Britain very one day fought for an hour and forty five minutes. What? A really I mean A really good fight. A hell of a fight. It should have been recorded. It, it was yeah. an unbelievable fight. And uh, Daddy won that fight. It was a hell of a fight though. So it was yeah. a good fight. Uh I seen I seen one in my stake, we beat an ex Jiu Jitsu fighter. Fought him for about 15 minutes. Daddy bet him. Daddy was tough, was so, But you yeah. can see him now in the videos, my 7 year old, and he still was. And he still. He was a different Grant, league. Well, Grant, could do more they were all the generation, was just a different league than the, the new ones. They, just, yeah. they made them different back then. Just as strong as an Indian. Yeah. Cut from a different cloth, as yeah. I see. Well, guys, we don't want to take up too much of your time tonight. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. God bless.